Stars TV. All right, what's going on, guys? This is Justin from Street Stars TV Game and Technology, and today we have something different. We have a Canon lens. Well, it's for Canon, and it's a fish eye lens. So we have a Rokinon Digital AMM fish eye lens. So right here, as you can see, high definition precision precision optics. You can see the box here. So, and you, as you can see on the side, shows you. Then on there, it shows you the aperture range, the optical construction, angle of view, and as you can see, can you can you see that what it does to a normal image? It makes it curve. So that's what I was looking for when I was trying to get a new lens. So, yeah, it's gonna show you guys what's inside the box and how it looks. All right, so as you can see, the box is here opening it by just pulling this part out lifting this part up you get a pouch to cover up the lens instructions about the lens and take this off there's the lens it was a little bit heavy it's heavier than like the 50mm one the other lens the 18 to 55 let's just take it out this aside so there you go so it's got a lens hood and you see this part here I ain't gonna lie it does feel quite heavy what we're gonna do is we're gonna test out the lens and show you how it looks I'm going to show you from a normal daytime to midday to inside a club Well, as you can see, the lens works when there's light. When in, when it's low light, it gives like a noisy color effect, which, yeah, I don't really like it. You would have to attach a LED 160 bulb light on top of your camera for it to look a, l a little bit better. Also, to change the ISO, you have to use the ISO. I call it the ISO ring. You have to use the ISO ring, which is here. So... Yeah, the lens is good, you can get creative with it, but in terms of like the, the sharpness of the image that you might you may have in front, I I feel like it could be a, it could be better in my opinion. But yeah, you can definitely get creative with the lens. So yeah, if you if you have any questions that you'd like to ask, please leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you.